Okay, so I pulled the, fork, the front forks off the Suron because I needed to measure the steer tube to look at the rust that's in here. So that is not good. The spike is less than a year old and these headsets are not sealed very well. You can see the rust already starting to develop on this needle bearing. That's really bad. So if you were to let this set for a few years, these roller bearings are gonna rust and uh, stop working. Your race might even rust. It's hard to say if this rust is on the bearing of the race. Um, but the same on the bottom, if I walk over here, there's the bottom race. Look at all that rust in there. So, it's actually really good that I pulled this head tube off because uh, obviously water has gotten in here and caused the bearing to rust. So I'll be replacing it with a, a waterproof grease. That should help. Um, I'm really disappointed that water found its way in here. Uh, so I'll clean that up really good and repack the bearings with a waterproof grease. All right, here we go. I used some brake cleaner to clean out all the old grease and clean up the rust as much as I could. And uh, a towel to, to really kind of scrub them and dry them out as best as possible. And then I use some Bell Ray waterproof grease, which is what I use on my motocross bikes. Uh, if you're from the motocross world, you know how important this is. Uh, this is something motocross racers are pretty careful about is making sure these uh, triple clamp bearings are greased really good and, and keep water from rust. If you've never done this before, the whole goal, they call it, they call it packing a bearing because what you're trying to do is pack the grease down into the bearing. So you're not just wiping some grease on the outside here. You're using your fingers to like push the grease in and kind of massage it and keep rolling it and you know 360 degrees all the way around and you keep rolling the bearing over and over and over again while you're using your fingers to really like push that grease or pack that grease down inside. So the goal is to get all the air and if, if there's water that should have been cleaned out with the brake cleaner but the goal is to get all the air that's inside the bearing, and these bearings have, have quite a lot. Um, I don't know if these are just cheap Chinese-made bearings or what they're, that's normal for these, but there's a lot of play in these bearings. So the goal is to get all of the grease into all of the open area and completely 100% get rid of the air that's in there. So that it's a solid packing of grease inside and not just what you can see here on the surface, but inside of the bearing. So. Think about that if you've never done this before. Y your goal is to pack that grease down into the bearing and keep rotating it and packing it and adding more and more grease, make a whole mess, uh, and then clean it up later. Um, but, but that is the goal, and definitely use a waterproof grease after what I just saw. And another thing we're gonna be doing with the Suron, and I'll tell my girls this, because they're the ones that usually wash the spike. Uh, I definitely will ask them to keep the hose and water away from the triple clamp area when they're washing the bike. Uh, that's probably where this water came from because we don't, we have ridden through with some streams and a little bit of mud and stuff, but. Put in first gear and go. Okay. Okay, third gear. Okay. Yeah, go start the engine. Be easy on the throttle. Okay, now straight shot right up this crack all the way through. You're on a, lo a log, that's why it's spinning. Suron water, first water crossing with the Suron. I'm pretty confident this rust and water came from washing the bike, so maybe take that into account when you're washing your Suron. Keep the hose away from the triple clamp area uh, because water is going to get in and rust your bearings. So hopefully that helps you out. And since it's not snowing this year, at least not in Utah, that's a good weekend project for you. Later. One last maintenance tip while we're up here on the front of the bike.
obviously those bolts don't match anymore. That is because one of the very first big rides we did on this was in southern Utah, um, kind of in the maze area, if anybody knows where that is, and very rocky trail, and we were hauling butt. Like, <laughs> we pretty much had these things wide open uh, and just bouncing through the rocks. Um, on the way back, I noticed that the front fender was vibrating pretty good, and so I stopped and pulled over, found out I had lost one bolt, and these two were already very loose, so make sure you put some Loctite on those if you want to keep your fender. Okay, but they're not great. Look at this. Look how cool that is. <laughs> 